All right, guys, we're here again with the 97S10 final part. What I can think of is this guy, an ignition control module. We're going to go ahead and change this out. The coils plug into this. The coils, if you remember, were changed out earlier or right behind and this passenger side front tire right under that flap there. It's raining, but I finally have time to do it. So I have positioned myself under my daughter's softball tent that we use. I've already jacked the, the truck up. If you see the hood is popped, the battery is actually out of it. It's disconnected. I'm gonna go ahead and get that front tire off of there. So let me get that off of there and we'll pick it right back up. All right, so I took uh, most of this shield off, lay it right there. Uh, it's just like a flexible rubber. It's really not that hard to do. Uh, set it over to the side. I went on ahead and labeled all of my wires. Not sure if that's picking up. That's one, that's four, uh, that one looks like two, and that one looks like three. Uh, so I wired everything with uh, painter's tape. There's four bolts. One, two, and then there's three, and there's four, and there's two clips. There's one right there, and there's another one on top of that. Um, once we get all that out of there, I'm going to pull the old ignition control module out. I'm not going to be able to record this uh, because it's just too tight in there to get a camera, plus it's raining. Um, the socket size is 732. Not sure if that is or is not picking up. 732. 730 seconds. So let me get that off of there. All right, so let's get a quick look at new versus old. Here's the new. Uh, it's got the green dot on it. Here's the old, and to be honest, it really doesn't look that bad. Kind of grimy under there, uh, but uh, in all honesty, it doesn't look that bad. Really hoping, really, really hoping though that that was my issue, because I am out of ideas after that. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and put the coils back on here. They really don't, uh, it's, it's really not that hard to put them on there. You just sort of line these up with uh, these two uh, spots here plug it all back together um, there's only the two plugs and as you can see they don't look the same at all one's square one's rectangle and one's long and one's not um, two plugs aren't very hard to get to here they are there's one there's the other really not that hard to get to as I drop my wrench uh, I'm going to go ahead and plug them in and uh, bolt it back up. I am going to go ahead and put the coils on here while we're sitting here uh, rather than fighting with that in, in the truck. Um, so just sort of going to plug them in like so and then um, get, it, get it back together. So let's go ahead and do that. All right, so now that the ignition control module is back in, ooh, it's a tight fit in here plugs are back in now if you now for some reason two and three are numbered one and four are not numbered if you are doing this um, without numbers and you sort of forget where you're at one is on the bottom two is on top of that second ignition coil and then the second set goes three on the bottom two on the top of the second ignition coil now for some reason I got one that's got numbers and one that ain't got numbers I, you know, I don't, I'm not sure why, but I did replace, I don't like the way that's sitting. I did replace it. I also numbered, let me see if I can find one that's got a number, number three right there. You may or may not be able to see that. I did number my plug wires before I took it off. That's the reason why. All right, now, I'm really excited about this to see if this works. I'm not putting anything else back together. I'm going to put a battery in this joker. And then I'm going to fire it up and let's see if this works. All right, there's only one idiot who wants to do electrical work on a car in the rain. So <laughs> that's me. I do got my handy dandy OBD2. Battery is hooked back up. Whew. Big moment for me, big moment for me. I'm going to go ahead and give this thing a start up. Here we go. It has fired. It appears to be running. We're waiting on that light there. 
waiting and waiting and waiting. Not sure if it's going to do it. Did we fix it? I don't know. I don't know. It hasn't. It hasn't come on yet. I don't know. You know what? I don't know. You know what? Oh. Oh no. 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 Dang it. Well, let's run our. Let's find our plug in. Let's run our codes. Ah, dang it. I really thought that was going to be it. One fault. One fault. P0301. Still stinking there. We have good compression, we have new plugs, we have new wires, we have new coils, we have a new ICM. Still got, still got the stinking P301. Uh, didn't fix it. Dead gummit. All right, well, if you need new injection control module, I hope I helped. Thank you much.